How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Videos. Today I want to show you how to check your email on the Kindle Touch. Uh, first thing you want to do is tap on Menu. And then from Menu you want to go down to the bottom where it says Experimental. Tap on that. And then tap on Web Browser. Okay. Give it a set to load. I'm currently using Wi-Fi. It'll take you right to Google. What you want to do is tap uh, once in the search box at the top, and you want to type in. So I'm going to show you four different, um, like the four main email accounts, which are Gmail, AOL, Yahoo, and uh, Hotmail. Those are like the four main emails that pretty much everybody uses. So let me show you Gmail first. What you want to do is um, type in www. Or in fact, there's a button at the bottom that's a www. So you can just hit that. And then Gmail, and then hit the, hit the dot .com button at the bottom, and hit the little arrow. Now I'll go ahead and take you right in. And it takes a little second to load there. So here's Gmail. I'm gonna go ahead and log into my account, just so you can um, kind of see what it what the interface looks like. H2 Tech Videos. Okay, and now I'm gonna cover the screen while I put my password in. No offense, I love y'all, but you know, can't have nobody know what my password is. Uh, almost done. Bam, bam. Okay, I'm going to hit sign in when you finish, and then it should take you right in. I hope I put it in right. Okay, so now it should take you into your account, and there it is. And um, Gmail probably looks the best of all the email accounts I've seen on here. Um, so, like, here's obviously it, it converts it to the, like a mobile version, and then you could just scroll up to go down the page, or go back down, and we can tap on email for it to open. And then, so it's pretty cool, you know. It's real simple. Obviously, it's in the in the in the e ink, so colors are very basic. But um, and then if you want to zoom in, we can uh, pinch, and it'll take you in closer, or we can pinch out like that. So that's Gmail. Let's go ahead and tap in the web browser now. Next, I'm going to do uh, AOL. I'm not going to actually log into AOL, but uh, just to show you how to get there, you. Don't type in www.aol.com. It will not recognize it. Type in m.aol.com. Okay? And I'll have all these in the notes, the video, so you can know what to type in exactly. So when we go to AOL, we want to tap on where it says mail. Okay? And then it'll load again. Give it a second to do its thing. There we just about cool. So then you would just tap in that box and then you will start typing for your AOL. Um, next, I'm going to do uh, Yahoo. Yahoo, you're going to type in m.yahoo.com. The reason you have to type that is because it doesn't have a full web browser. It's only an experimental feature. And so that's why you would have to go to the mobile version so that you could view it on um, on the Kindle Touch. And I actually logged in to my email in here already. But this is the mobile screen right here in the upper right corner. It will say Mail. So we'll tap on Mail. Okay, so it, it logged me out automatically. So I'm going to log into Yahoo so you can see what their interface looks like, too. One second. And then I'm going to have to hide my password again. So let me cover the screen. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on sign in. Okay. A little bit more loading. Try to stay in the center of the video. And so this is the Yahoo interface. Again, it's, you know, their mobile version. 
and we have access to your contacts, your calendar. In fact, let's see what the calendar looks like. Yeah, the calendar is not as pretty as I thought it would be. Oh, this is well today. Let's click on the week calendar and see what that looks like. And if you use this a lot, then you know you'll have stuff in here. I don't really use the calendar feature, so I don't have much. Click on contacts, you'll have access to those. This is cool. You can actually have all your email contacts with you wherever you go. So that's kind of cool. And then back to the inbox. Okay, so you can get some pretty good email action on there. All right, scroll up, scroll down. We can delete emails. Let's tap on this email just to see what it looks like in the Yahoo version. Oh, you got to click on the subject. And there we go. It's loading right now. Okay. We can kind of just swipe up or swipe down. So it's simple, you know, the important thing is being able to check them on the go. And again, it's 3G, so you'll be able to, uh, well, I have a 3G version. If you have a 3G one, you'll be able to use that to, like, check email anywhere. So that's a cool plus. The last email account I'm going to do is uh, Hotmail or basically Windows Live. You're going to go ahead and tap in the, um, the search at the top and type in mobile.live, L-I-V-E, dot com. And then we're going to go ahead and hit the little bottom arrow, which is the enter key. And then it will take us to their website. I'm not going to log into theirs, but I just wanted to provide the link so you would know how to get to those websites so you can log into your own accounts. So here we go. This is what it looks like. And then if we tap on that uh, box, usually it will make it bigger for you to be able to actually type something. Uh, or we can do a little pinch to zoom and then we can kind of move it over a little bit. So, and now the keyboard's up and then it kind of centers it for you. So, uh, this is email on the Kindle Touch. Uh, again, you do have a web browser, it is an experimental feature, so you don't have full access. Uh, one of the downsides of the Kindle Touch is you cannot access Facebook from it. I actually tried to use the Facebook mobile version and it doesn't let you get in. So that's probably the one downside or one flaw I see in the touch. But other than that, still a great reader and uh, you can get your email on there. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, send me a comment. Let me know what you thought of the video and have a good one.